I mean, you, you've seen stuff that is mind blowing, but was there a story that stays with you at night when you're going to sleep? It's just seared. You know, I had to have therapy for the series. <laughs> I mean, really and truly, um, we had many instances where we were talking to people who just are dealing with the toughest situations. Um, I think for the traffickers, the one thing that I will never forget, and this was over a year ago, it was in the first episode, Rhino Horn, which will be the first, I mean, the second episode that will air on Sunday. Um, we spoke to a guy called Toomey, and Toomey is uh, black, and he's in a position in his job right now that's traditionally white. And in South Africa, that is a big deal, right? You don't give black people certain jobs. It's not in any law or anything, but it's just the done thing. So his boss has taken a chance and given Toomey this opportunity. Toomey protects the rhinos in the Kruger National Park and in the private sort of um, places that he works with his life. He cares about them beyond any reasonable amount. And he told me a story about how his wife and his children were attacked. His five-year-old daughter was just bashed against a wall and she had to go to hospital and be there for, for days and days. And Timmy doesn't get paid an awful lot of money. So he spent whatever he had on, on his daughter's recovery and his wife was assaulted. So I asked him, these rhinos, they're not worth this. Come on, Timmy, they're not worth this. And he's like, yeah, but if I stop and if I give up, who will? Who will? Who will? They'll win. They've won. And when I went to China, when I went to Vietnam and I found out that, that the thing that this man is, Toomey's protecting with his life is literally being put up on walls as a status symbol to show how rich you are, I just broke down. My, I, just, I just couldn't function as a human being anymore. And that kind of thing, when I see bravery and courage with no limits like that, you know, it's just, you know what? In my job, you see the best and the worst in humanity, often in the same person. And that's what I, I love, and that's, that's what we did really, really well. We captured those moments really well.